I just clicked it again. It says live, we'll see. Sometimes these are out, things are out of our control. So we risk going live early or we risk being two minutes, three minutes late because it's doing its thing. I think there's a lot of people. You're live. Insane. All right, Jay, we're live. We are live, hey. Good I afternoon. I told you, right? Sometimes out of your control. That's right. It. Um, what I wanted to say is welcome to Beyond the Frame. My name's Jay Nephew, and with me, I have co-host Dottie San Martin. I'm getting messages. Somebody must tell me, tell us that there's, uh, hopefully everything's all right and they can hear us. I see and hear you. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, let me talk to you a little bit about what the group is about. You know, we uh, understand that these are some really difficult times for everybody in our industry and everybody in the world, right? Like this is a global pandemic. Uh, we get that here. We're very fortunate to work for a company who is like a huge family to us and is, we feel like the whole industry is our family at this point. You know, we're all in this together. Um, we need bowling to survive. We want bowling to thrive when this is over. And we know it's gonna be over. We know there's gonna be a time when we're back to normal, whatever normal is then, but we're gonna get through this. And one of the things Dottie and I wanted to do was to put this series together to help share ideas that help you cope with the crisis, get through some challenging times and come out of it in a more positive frame of mind. So I'd like to introduce you to Dottie San Martin. Dottie's our co-host with us on the Beyond the Frame broadcast. Hi everybody. As Jay said, my name is Dottie San Martin and it is an honor for me to be here today and to share with you uh, some of the things that we are seeing in the market and uh, our goal is to walk with you, to go, to be on this journey together. It's tough times for all of us and, you know, to pool our resources, to pool our knowledge and help each other get through this because we're going to come out on the side and we're, on the other side and we're going to be better as a result. Um, and so it really is an honor to be here and we hope that you get something out of this show uh, and certainly we're very happy to be here and for you to be a part of our group. Absolutely. You know, we're sponsored by uh, the virtual marketing manager team, which is Dottie and myself uh, with Cubic AMF. So we thank them for giving us the platform and the opportunity to do this show with you. But we realize that not everybody is, uh, you know, one of our customers, possibly. Most bowling centers buy things all over the place. And we get that. We're here for everyone. We're not just here for only our customers. We're here for you, you, the bowling community. So if you have other friends that aren't part of the group yet, and you know that they could benefit from this, go ahead and add them to the group or invite them to join the group and ask them to join our broadcast. We plan to do this uh, weekly. And early on, we've got at least two shows a week planned, Tuesday and Thursday off the bat. So, um, but let's dig into today's show because today's show title is bringing in revenue when the doors are closed. And I know for all my friends that have bowling centers, I don't know of one of them that can be open right now in a normal capacity. Dottie, do you know of anybody that can be? I do not, unfortunately. But you know what we have seen, and this is really interesting. Um, we came up with this concept or some of these concepts a couple weeks ago, to be honest with you, we wanted to do this back then. And, you know, it takes time to pull things together and put a platform together and be ready to do this. So some of the things you're going to hear today aren't going to be brand new to you. You may have seen them. It's fine, though, because we're here to not only inform you, but inspire you and get you out there to be thinking your, about your business differently after this crisis is over and during the crisis. Um, it's easy to sit back. Yeah. Now is definitely that time to think outside the box. Um, and outside find the out. frame, beyond the frame, right? Ab absolutely. There you go. Because it, you know, this is the time where you can just think it. And if there's something that our that our viewers are thinking um, that may seem kind of far fetched, then you know, those are kind of some of the things that we want to talk about here in this platform. All your comments, if you just use the face, uh, we look over off to the side because we have two monitors going so we can watch the conversations. I think we're like every other TV show now. You got people on Zoom and they're trying to watch the uh, stuff. But you can comment uh, in the comment section of the video and we'll be able to see those. We'll be able to address some of those as we go. Um, so 
your center's closed, you've got uh, shelter in place or work from home or be safe or uh, social distancing, all of these things are going on. If I'm an owner operator, obviously the first thing I'm gonna say is, holy crap, how is this gonna affect me and my customers and my future business? And you know, you're gonna to have to think about that and develop a plan, but what are the things you can do right now, today, that will help you move forward and get you through some of these tough times? And you know, selling without selling is kind of an interesting concept. Um, things, what can you sell remotely? What can you do? Well, certainly, Things like gifts cards are an easier sell for most people. And if you have a system like a Conqueror where you can pre-sell gift cards and load money onto people's accounts, that's an option for you. If you have a, a one-off or standalone gift card system that you might pair with, find out how you can pre-sell gift cards electronically where maybe they don't have to come to the bowl to pick them up. But what if you don't have that option and you do only have to swipe something at your location and get it to them? Well, you could take the gift card sales over the phone, right? Collect their data, give them the gift card, and then offer to mail that out to their house for them. So that's another opportunity that you can do it. The point is, is to you make it easy for customers to get this from you. And maybe now's the time to incentivize them. So what are some incentives that you've seen, Dottie, for gift cards? Uh, online because we're not the only people doing it. Oh, absolutely. And, and you know, I'll say, Jay, um, my inbox uh, during uh, this pandemic has just been flooded and it, it's been so inspiring to me to go through some of the different emails and learn what others are doing. And, you know, that's where a lot of our thoughts can, can come from as well. But, you know, in the gift card world, um, to be able to, I, I've seen some customers that are doing like a, uh, an additional percentage mm -hmm. that is like a bonus card that they get so they can give it like away. Like you see during the holiday times a lot. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I've even seen some that have made the, the, the extra bonus promotional. Maybe it mm -hmm. doesn't apply to certain things. Uh, and maybe that promotional gift card is valid during a certain period of time if you really are wanting to kind of drive business in that direction. Um, so, you know, things like that, there, it's, I've seen buy a hundred, get 20. I've seen buy a hundred, get fit, uh, 40. Um, I have also recently found uh, one center that is considering uh, giving a portion of that bonus to a local organization. Wow, so, that's awesome. Yeah, it's really nice. Be it uh, some sort of fund for your healthcare professionals or the food bank or whatever, but to give the the bonus that you would typically uh, be giving, you can split that, give part to the customer and then give a portion of it to uh, a local organization. So uh, that's an idea as well that, that I've heard. So We've got some comments coming in. I wanna say a shout out to some uh, viewers that we've got, Robin, Gina, Caitlin, Adam, Janie, Tom, uh, Joey, uh, Mario. Uh, Mario, excuse me, Mario. Well, you know, you got a new way to pronounce it if you want. And Dan and Scott Alexander. Dan Patterson says, how about an F&B add-on so that the cost to us is less than 20% of the value? Ooh, I love that idea. So you're saying, Dan, if you buy like a $50 gift card, I'm going to give you a free pizza to go. And then they can come and take that pizza home with them and you can slip the gift card in there at that point in time as like a drive up or, or curbside delivery. Great idea, cool. great idea Dan. Idea. That's thinking beyond the frame for sure. Absolutely. So, and Jay, um, I'm going to have to let you know, you're going to have to monitor the comments because I am, <laughs> technology has struck again. So uh, oh, well, comments are okay. in your report now. No worries, no worries. I'll keep us posted. Um, there are a couple of e-gift card services. If you don't have any other way to do gift cards, you might want to check them out. One is Yifte, Y-I-F-T-E-E.com, and one is buyatab.com, B-U-Y-A-T-A-B.com. Jay, I want to mention there, we had, I had a client uh, this week that shared with me that they had actually gone and done some research on the Buyatab. And I will give you fair warning, it is very expensive um, oh, to get started well, with that. So just, you know, kind of uh, a, a word to the wise there. And I know that there's other services. So uh, I recently got an email from Open Table, And so I oh, started right. looking, 
I started clicking through all the different restaurants to find out what providers they use. So that might be something that you can do also to kind of figure out if there's an option that's better. For and, you know, if you've got something that works beautiful for you and you think it would be good for everybody to know about it, drop us a little note or a line. You can, uh, you know, instant message us too on the, uh, on the Facebook app. All right, so we've talked about pre-selling gift cards. I'm gonna move on to the obvious, I think the most obvious thing that a lot of centers are already doing, and uh, that's curbside pickup. And I know, Dottie, you are a huge fan of this because it's something that you do on a regular basis during the regular week. You'll often get takeout to go, so it's not foreign right. for you. Um, right. But You've got a little bit of a spin on some things and we've created a lot of collateral that we can give you right now. Oh, by the way, I will pause you for a moment because the things that we're talking about today, uh, the collateral that we've created, they're free to you. This is no cost. You can download these flyers, uh, Facebook posts or social, social media posts. Um, sometimes there's order forms. It just depends on the, the thing, but we'll have all this content on our Best Extras blog and you can download this and customize it for free and start using it today to generate revenue. So Dottie, let's talk about the curbside delivery process and what we've got for them there. Okay, okay. Well, you know, with with uh, the way things are right now, it's, you know, at least for me, I know I try to support um, the, the small businesses in the community and keep, keep them afloat. And I have to take a little bit of a, a detour here because I wanna share with you something that happened yesterday. We did a takeout uh, yesterday from our favorite hamburger place um, to try to support it. And they, when we walked up to place our order, they immediately said, oh, by the way, um, we have a special going on today and the, the porky burger is, is only $5. Wow. And uh, so it was a it was a pretty good savings. And so my husband took that as the opportunity to say, thank you for letting me know that I'm going to put that money towards a tip for you because we appreciate you being here. That so, is so you know, nice. There's, there's so many people within the community that are wanting to help. And, you know, our, our bowling and entertainment centers are just as capable as restaurants are to continue uh, providing your food. You know, there's a lot of people in the, in the bowling community that feel that, you know, their center has the best pizza or their center has the best burger or they have their favorite items. And they would love to continue supporting you by being able to place those orders. And there's a lot you, of- creative You are so out. spot on there. If you go to Buffalo and you go to any bowling center and order wings, they're going to be as good as anything you could ever have. So you're right. In regional areas, they have specialty items that you just aren't going to get anything better. So why yeah. not? Why not yeah, and ask them? Not, not your whole menu. You know, pare it oh. down to the items that you know are the most popular. Um, and once you've pared it down, maybe you have a each day you have five different ones or, you know, whatever system you use up, up the perishables you've got on hand. And you're Absolutely. right. Just like Bob's burger does. He comes up with that special burger of the day on every episode. You might have some weird items left over that you can put together to make something memorable for your guests and delicious at the same time. So that's cool. Yeah, And, and, you know, you can promote that on social media and even ask for feedback from your customers. What is it that you're hungry for that maybe we haven't thought about on curbside, but logistically it's very easy um, to do curbside. If you've got cue pads, you can go right to the, you know, the car and take their payment and stuff. But, um, you know, being able to have a system in place, maybe they pull up and they park in, you know, a certain spot and they text you, you can text the orders in, you can email an order in, you can go and have a form on your website. There's a lot of different ways. Um, and so, you know, be it that the food is prepared or maybe they take it home and prepare it. Yeah, um, that's so a good thing right there. So that Tell might us, be another option. It is like River City Roll, they were genius, right? If you've ever been to River City Roll, or we've been a few times because it happens mm -hmm. to be in Richmond, Virginia, which is where our home offices are. Their pizza is amazing. It's hand tossed. It's like a little thinner. They do some buffalo chicken ranch bacon thing that I can't even, I could eat 10 of them. So they are decided, well, we, we can sell you a pizza to go, or we can give you a kit to make the pizza at home. Yes, please. Anybody with kids right now is probably saying, 
I want the kit. We're going to do pizzas for dinner. How easy is this? It comes with everything you need. You could do the same thing with your specialty item, or maybe you sell a thing for, uh, it's burger night. I'm going to give you four patties and four buns and some cheese and some toppings. And it's all there for you to make, but it's convenient and it's quick and it's easy. And you're generating revenue and goodwill. And you know, Jay, the fun thing about that is right now with the kids being out of school and you know, they're starting to get um, a little bit antsy. This is a great way, um, you know, the uh, uh, River City Roll had a brilliant idea to encourage the parents to include their children in preparing those pizzas yes. and post that back to the, to, um, to their social media. Yeah. Social media. The kids love it. They get to go to this, to the, you know, to their, uh, Facebook or Instagram and they get to see themselves and it's wonderful user generated content for River City Roll. So high five for River City Roll. High five to River City Roll. Great pizza. Great idea. Now I know there are 500 bowling centers out there that that sell pizza and they do a great job of their pizza. That's a no-brainer in my book. If I had pizza, I would probably either have pre-made ones that are uncooked, ready to go if you want it. I would mm -hmm. offer, you know, is do you want it fully cooked? Do you want it pre-made, uncooked, or do you want the pieces and you can make it yourself? Like that's easy to sure. execute, I think. So good sure. job. All right. The so other thing, to... Jay, that was kind of interesting is yeah. um, you know, obviously it's different from state to state. Um, but the alcoholic beverage rules oh, and regulations yes. have loosened up a little bit. So, I think they disappeared you know, in Houston because anything goes here. It seems like absolutely. <laughs> but it's it's a unique opportunity to be able to pair some of your food. Uh, I know we've got uh, a couple of centers that are doing a bottle of wine with you know your your different uh, entree that you're ordering. Even to go uh, growlers, they can take and you know try to deplete their stock of draft beer by offering mm -hmm. different growlers for a specific price. Now so, for us Northern folk, tell us what a growler is. A growler is a big container of beer. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I don't know too much about it, but uh, I know that uh, we have a couple of places uh, here where they specialize in, in growlers and you can fill them and take them to go. Okay. Um, so, if you're looking for a way to get rid of some of that draft beer so that it's not sitting in your lines while your doors are closed, take advantage of this and, you know, fill some growlers. And yeah, especially um, when your local rules are relaxed like this and they're allowing you to sell that alcohol to go, out. make that money, make those people happy. <laughs> sure, for sure. Okay, so that's the, um, the food service and uh, the getting the online ordering. Oh, and when you do your online promo, ask for the sale. Support bowling, hashtag support bowling, hashtag support local. People, are, that's the rage. Everybody wants to support their local people. Um, hi, Dana, hi, Terry, hi, Kyle. I see you're all on watching this. Thanks for joining us. Um, the rest of you that are still watching, we are in the middle of talking about how you can bring in revenue even when the doors are closed. And so far we've talked about pre-selling things like gift cards, and giving bonuses and, and um, uh, food service, uh, curbside pickup to be specific. We've got the, oh, I'm gonna show you the collateral. I'm gonna hop around here for a minute. I'm going to try to show you the collateral for, for uh, curbside pickup because I think um, it's, it's beautiful and it's a great, easy thing to customize. It's a platform called Hunger When Hunger Strikes. Okay, now bear with me because I'm going to share my screen. This could go terribly wrong. It could be fine. We're gonna find out in a minute. So there, you guys should all be seeing the um, When Hunger Strikes graphic on the screen. This is the uh, social media post, Dottie. So it has the title and it has these circles down here at the bottom that you can fill in with your particular info. Maybe you've put combos in each one. Maybe you put your info in each one. But it's it's purposely uh, generic and a little bit um, a little bit vague so that you have flexibility with that to make. This package comes with a flyer. Uh, it comes with the um, the post, and it comes with one more thing. And where's my notes? Uh, the menu, uh, email menu, and post. So you can create a full campaign with this and you can download that for free from the blog. We'll tell you about that afterwards. So don't stress if you don't have it right now. Um, next up, 
where are we here? That brings us to what else can you pre-sell, right? So you could pre-sell things like birthday parties or group sales maybe even uh, with an incentive possibly. So I thought about, well, if I did my kids' parties, why wouldn't I want to try to pre-sell maybe a basic eight to 10 person package and say, buy it today for use up to a certain time. And if you do that, your incentive for prepaying for that could be something like an upgrade. What kind of upgrades would you do, Dottie? Well, gosh, Jay, I mean, it's endless. You can add a cake, you can add a signable pin, you can add a free room. Uh, you can have the birthday person, you know, be included free. You can, there's just so many things that, that you can do, um, you know, to make it special and to give them that incentive to go on and do it today. If you are a, an entertainment center and you have uh, additional um, uh, attractions. attractions, then add, you know, maybe add a, a play card or add a round on the go-karts um, as a thank you for them booking their party and prepaying it. So it's something that's going to drive value. The value proposition is going to shift for your customer when they see these promos. And they're going to say, look, I, I, we always have a birthday party. We're going to go there anyway. I'm going to do this now because I'm going to get a free cake out of the deal. Or I'm going to get, everybody's going to ride the loopy coaster inside. Whatever you've got, mm -hmm. use your creativity. Because this is where I know our audience is not lack of. They've got creativity. So that's something. What else do you think we could pre-sell? What other kind of things come to mind for you? I mean, I have a couple here, but I'm, I'm thinking, you know, I'm putting you on the spot, Patty. Well, hey, I, I, I like being put on the spot. Um, those that know me know I'm never for a loss of, of words when it comes to bowling and promotions and stuff. But one of the things that I think is kind of cool, first of all, you know, we've discussed that many bowling centers have great people. Um, and a lot of our customers have, you know, pizza bowl or pizza pins and pop or something of the like, where you come in with your family or your friends and you get a pizza, you get a pitcher of soda and you get yep. an hour. What, it's what a very common things? package. And, you know, pizza is easy to prepare or you can even have it unprepared. But to do a pizza pins and pop. And so you eat now, but you play later. So they would come in or text you or go online or uh, call in and do the, the eat now, play later uh, is what I like to call it. And they would- While you're talking, I'm gonna bring that up, keep going. Yeah, they would come by and they would get their pizza, either, as I said, either get it cooked, get it prepared, but not cooked, or get the pieces and let them build it at home. Um, maybe if you typically do pitchers of soda, maybe bring in uh, two liter bottles of soda and, and mm -hmm. offer a, a, the, the two liter bottle. And then they would receive a voucher that they would be able to come back um, once you're open. part of it. Yeah. And what does that do? Number one, that gives you something that just a pizza restaurant or, you know, a pizza delivery place is not going to be able to do. They're not going to be able to offer to have, you know, the entire package where you also are getting entertainment for later on down the road. But for for centers, it's giving the customer a reason to come in as soon as everything starts to go back to normal. They already have something in place that's going to bring them to your center. And that's really, really important. We want to do things now that can help position us so when we do open up, we have those people channeled into our center. So, yeah, so we have this promotion that we put together for you. Uh, this the piece that Jay has up right now is our social media piece that we have for you. Uh, and um, uh, you yeah, know, that's we, the branding on it. There's a couple other pieces that go with it. You even included a postcard if they wanted to do a mail campaign, because not for nothing, you could run this almost any time of the year, right? This absolutely. is this is value to you. So take advantage of that value. You know what, while you were talking and, and going over this, I had an idea and uh, I know we didn't talk about it, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Uh, wouldn't it, clever statement, right? Fries <laughs> now, play later. Like if you saw the combo with fries, you, you could get that. That could be your slogan. Fries now, play later. That's, That's you gotta it. put, you gotta prioritize the important things, food first, right? So. And you know what, what, uh, what's really fun is that now is the time that, 
you know, Jay, you and I both love the creative end of things, but yeah. now's the time that you see so many wonderful things. Um, so yeah, think outside that, go beyond the frame folks. Definitely. Um, Dan also chimed in. I asked people on the comments, I said, Hey, tell us some things that you might pre-sell. Um, and I'm going to ask you to, you know, send in those comments right now. Cause we still have, you know, several people that are watching us. Um, Dan says pro shop items, if you have one. So yeah, that's true. If you do have a pro shop, maybe you work out some kind of deal there too, because we know how uh, hungry the bowlers can be for equipment and technology and stuff. So here's a couple other things on the, what could you pre-sell list? What about a special tournament? Maybe you develop a tournament and, and you, you pre-sell the entry fee now at a discount rate. What about New Year's Eve? Oh, now so that's time. always something that you can, yeah, put it, pay for your New Year's Eve now and you're all set and you've got the spot locked in because you know it always sells out for most people. Um, there's endless things that you could do. So send us your ideas and we'll obviously share them with the group over time. Um, and that, that's what we're pre-selling. So I want to move on to our next topic because I don't want this video to be like two hours. We, me and you can talk forever. <laughs> um, so what are we at now? We're at number four, five. We're going into our, one of our final things. Okay, guys, this next thing, you talk about outside the box, beyond the frame. I think Rosa might have actually started this first. Our boss kind of had this uh, idea and sure enough, it's happening. Um, this is called partnering with your suppliers to sell. And you know, this really addresses some of the concerns that some people have faced across the country with the ability to get certain things like toilet paper, paper towels, maybe even cleaning supplies, even some food items, uh, meats, for example. Um, this concept says, why don't you look at your food service provider whether it be Cisco or someone else, but we know Cisco for sure does this. Um, and they have a resell program where you can actually be a retail reseller of their products. So maybe you get three or four extra cases of toilet paper sent to you. Maybe you get extra paper products and you sell them. Daddy, you put together another promotion. She's been the promotion queen this week. She's been lining them all up and knocking her out. Yes. Tell us about yes. this promo and what you called yeah. it too, because it's so clever. Well, well, Jay, first of all, you, you know, um, you're exactly right. People are, the stores are, uh, the shelves are empty and it's very frustrating to go to the store and not find anything. Um, but yeah, so my idea was let's take and transform our center into spares or us. I mean, what's more exciting then picking up a 710 split, picking up some toilet paper at my some toilet, toilet paper. Center. <laughs> That's way more exciting. <laughs> <Who would've thought? laughs> Hi, so, Mandy. Thanks for joining us. You know, to be able now, of course, definitely um, we preface everything by saying check what is feasible in your area. For and sure. Definitely stay, you know, run it by your uh, your lawyer or whatever to make sure that you're staying within your legal abilities. Um, but to even order in things and make prepackaged, um, you know, something as simple as a bag and fill it with snacks that parents can just swing by and, and order, you know, several bags of snacks for those kids that are home doing online schooling right now, or maybe put some, in, some staple ingredients together that are supplies together that you know are those rare finds in a grocery store right now. Or maybe even have like a senior citizen bag that you could pick up and purchase and then drop off at the senior at your neighbors center. or senior center, right? Yeah, some prepared, you know, prepared things that would be easy for them to um, to be able to to prepare or or munch on, or even supplies that you know that they should not be going out to get right now. Right. I want to show people the uh, the graphic for that particular program. It's really cute and fun too. Um, and once again, these things are all available on the blog, which we're going to talk about in just a moment here as to how you can get in and get, um, get some of these items uh, so that you can start generating revenue, even though you're closed. Dana, from uh, Armadillo uh, One is here, Dana uh, Browder. She's on, on the broadcast with us. Um, Hi, Dana. You know, 
<laughs> uh, here we go. Looking for a few basics. Stop by today and pick up something as exciting as the seven ten split. It's just genius. It's cute. And if you have the ability to do this and you can generate a few dollars and help your community, I think that is um, that is genius right there. So thank you, Dottie, for putting that one together, too. So and Jay, we, just to note, that one is, uh, there's a couple of those that, that you've shown that aren't on the blog yet, but just yeah. keep watching because they're ready, yeah. they're in the queue, so. All right, so um, let's tell them about the blog, because even if you're watching today, the way you're going to go and get the, the collateral is through the blog. So I'm going to share this graphic with you here. If you are not a member of our Best Extras blog already, I will say this, normally this is a reserved um, a reserved feature for only our customers that actually have best sex installed in their in their bowling center. But for the short term period of time, we've opened this blog up to everybody. So if you want to come in and see some of the content that we are sharing with you and take that and use it, please do. Um, you can send an email to best extras at cubicamf.com if you look at your screen right there. When you send that email, just say, I want to sign me up for the blog and put your name, your center name, and your email address. Those are the only three things we need from you. When you get your return email, it will take you to bestextras.com once you're allowed. Now, this is a WordPress site. So if you don't have a WordPress account, you might have to create an account, but it's two steps simple and then you are you have access to everything all the time and it's free. So there's no charge. Okay. For you. Uh, yes, you do have to have a WordPress account, as you said, and I believe that there is a prompt to try to get you to start your own blog. So don't stress about that. You don't yeah. have to have your own blog. All you need to do is create a username and a password um, to be able to access the material. And there's, you know, there's all kinds of stuff that you'll find uh, on that blog, not just for these difficult times that we're going through right now, but just in general um, to help you to keep navigating through to grow your business. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so we've talked about, uh, we've given you at least five topics that you can generate revenue from today, or probably more if we were really counting. And, you know, the content that we've created, these are the same kinds of things that we work on and do with our customers when we work with them for a virtual marketing manager. So you're basically getting some free VMM help today. Um, but we, that's what we want to do. We want to make sure that all of our bowling community can get through this time together um, come out on the end, other side of it, a little bit better than they could have, right? And make bowling amazing. That's what our company does. That's what you do every single day with your businesses. And we're here to support that for you. So I think it's time to wrap it up. Uh, do you, is there anything I missed? No, Jay, I just want to, um, to kind of tag on to what you said. You know, it really is our pleasure to be here and, and, be able to walk with you. We have always been a huge advocate of wanting to be there for our customer. And today, more than ever, I think that when we can pool our resources together and we can put our heads together and we can work on your behalf to create, to research, to develop things that are going to help you get to that other side, I think that's extremely important. And that's where we want to be right now we absolutely want you. We so do. if there's anything that you know that would be beneficial for us to assist in helping with our offer is genuine we want to mm -hmm. know um and maybe it's something we're already working on and maybe it's not something we've even thought about so we want you to know we are going to walk beside you and we're here to help Absolutely. Thanks. Great, great. Putting it very well, Dottie. Thank you for that. Um, join the blog, get the content, join us on Tuesday. We're going to do our next broadcast and we're going to talk to you on Tuesday about keeping your customers engaged. This is going to be a fun show on Tuesday because <laughs> just prepare for me. It's going to be an hour. I just know we're going to go for an hour. Today we went for a half an hour. Tuesday we're probably going to go for an hour. We've got a lot of stuff to talk about and we've got even more giveaways and collateral that you can use right now to stay in the what? The right frame of mind during these tough times so you can get ahead. So on behalf of Jay Nephew and Dottie San Martin. 
and Beyond the Frame, we thank you today for joining us for our first broadcast. We look forward to seeing you on Tuesday for our next broadcast. And until then, you keep doing what you do, making bowling amazing. Have fun, everybody. Stay safe, and we'll see you on Tuesday.